Good morning, friends. Happy Vlogmas Day 3. Take this moment to pause, make yourself a heartwarming cup of tea, grab your coziest of comfy blankets, and let's spin the day together. I am settling in cozy on the couch to edit yesterday's video. I'll check back in with you in a bit, like one second for you, but a couple hours for me. In the meantime, cheers! We are out and about early this morning. Mm. <laughs> we have a few Christmas errands that we need to run. I'm not sure how much I can help with that. But yeah, we just wanted to get it done because time flies. When you're having fun. Yeah, it absolutely does. Somehow it's already December 3rd. Monsieur Rue is along for the ride. Well, I thought he was. Where are you? Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's right here. There he is. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna take him for a romp after we run our errands. It's rained so much that the road was flooded on our way to the store, so we took a different way. Yeah, it's crazy. It does rain basically every single day in the winter in Portland, but it's like a misty rain. We're not used to pouring rain. And like so, six inches over just a few days is what's forecasted. But when you live in Portland, where it rains perpetually, six months out of the year, you don't let rain stop you from living your life. So you just bring a dog towel and yeah, you keep on. Did which we, we didn't bring a dog towel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you wear your best rain gear, carry an umbrella, and you go out and have fun anyways. outfit right here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Letters to Santa. Okay, write your address on an index card. Stick your card and letter to Santa inside a blank envelope and drop it in. That's adorable. I want more skateboard things. <laughs> more skateboard things. <laughs> cool. So it has an index card and the letters. Perfect. All right, you guys. Anyone has letters to Santa? Mail them here. What's that shirt? Oh, when just you! Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you. Whoa, that's cool. Have one of these as a kid. It's a water. Oh, yes. Oh, I got one on. I got one on. <laughs> oh, I almost got it. You can wiggle it to get it to. Oh my gosh. I had one of these and I loved it. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh that's so fun. So fun. <laughs> Classic. So fun. Wow, childhood memory unlocked. <laughs> oh, these are funny. I read some of these at uh, Head River. Listen, I still want to be invited, but I'm not coming. <laughs> that, I can hear Kelsey saying that. 
so Christmassy. I love the shops at the holiday season. <laughs> oh, Rue, I got a gift for you. <laughs> wow, I actually really <laughs> like that. It's so cute. I love it. <laughs> and the snowman, look at how cute that snowman is up there. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, Mel. This one's for Effie. Effie! The secret life of squirrels. <laughs> mini calendar. I kind of want to get it for my dad. Oh, it'd be so funny for over Effie's bed because it's a mini calendar. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't think they would want to put that over, but... <laughs> the, the concept is there. Yeah. The concept is there, girls. I, I'm not going to decorate your house for you, it's, it's too perfect as is. <laughs> Look at that hair. My hair? Yeah. What's it doing? Fun stuff. Cool. <laughs> I'm buying though an ornament. They clip on and stand on the tree. And it's so fun. This ornament is for you, miss. Yay! I absolutely love it. <laughs> I've always wanted to clip on ornaments. <laughs> Hello, Rue. How's it going, happy boy? Oh, it is so beautiful here. And whenever I'm somewhere exceptionally beautiful, I can feel overwhelmed at trying to take it all in, or I am endlessly rather obsessed with um, making the most of things. And to do so and not completely overwhelm myself, something I really like to do to really enjoy a place so beautiful is to just stand here and take three deep breaths in through my nose and out through my mouth. And it really puts me in the present moment and awakens my senses, my hearing, my smell, and afterwards my sight. And it just makes me feel like I've truly enjoyed a place. So let's take three deep breaths together in this really beautiful forest and field. Ready? One, two, three. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. Another. And another. We are back home, settling in for a cozy rest of the day. I have on my own Wondrous You sweatshirt. I'm curious to know how many of you guys watching this right now are also wearing this sweatshirt with me. The idea that there are people all over the world wearing this makes me so incredibly happy. You guys, the sweatshirts are ready. And I am so excited and also so unbelievably nervous. <laughs> oh, it looks so good, Mo. <laughs> it 
looks amazing. It's just like the outro. Ah, it's so good. I'm zooming in on it. The clouds in the sky. Believe in yourself, oh wondrous you. Oh, it's fantastic. So happy. Me too. Ooh, let's get them loaded up. Cozy. Yay. I love the quality uh, and the fit. You are the proud owner of 300 of these. I do still have some for sale on my website, morganlungcreative.com. So if you'd like one, maybe to give as a Christmas gift or just to have for yourself. There are still some available. It's somehow already lunchtime. Time flies. Time just absolutely flies. And I wanted to make a quick and easy lunch. And one of my favorite things to make for lunch or dinner that's healthy and quick and easy is a tahini noodle steam dish. I boil water for noodles. Any noodle will do. I like to use these udon-esque noodles, but rice noodles also work, just any Asian noodle. And then over top of the boiling water with the noodles in it, I steam usually a leaf blend. So I have this shredded green and red cabbage and orange carrots blend, and I like to steam it above the noodles, as I just said. And I'm adding some edamame for protein. And we're low on groceries. We really need a grocery shop. So that's all I have for veggies. And then the key to this dish is the sauce. So it's base of tahini. I use two tablespoons of tahini per one dish with a tablespoon of soy sauce and a splash of oat milk. It is so, so delicious. Really quick, very nutritious, and actually has tons of protein. Two tablespoons of tahini has six grams of protein. I'm not sure what the protein level of edamame is, but it's pretty high. Then you have your nutrients and antioxidants from the green and purple cabbage and the yummy filling noodles. 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend. One for me, and one for Landon. It's so quick and easy. Seriously, without exaggeration, from start to finish, this meal takes less than 10 minutes. It's so easy. Um, so good. Absolutely delicious, which may be the most important part. It is many hours later. I spent the rest of my afternoon editing yesterday's video, but I'm all dressed up because Landon and I are going to go see a Christmas play. This was a birthday gift from his mom to me a few months ago, and it's happening tonight. It's Oh Christmas Tea, a British comedy. I know nothing about it, but I'm really, really excited. And I got all dolled up, and I wanted to show you guys my outfit. <laughs> I'm wearing a red sweater dress, this coat that I found secondhand, and some black boots.
Well, it looks like a normal dinner table setting. But you aren't wearing shoes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my it's normal? <laughs> I'm sitting crisscross applesauce. <laughs> We're at a Japanese restaurant called Shigezo and we're sitting at a traditional Japanese setting where we had to take off our shoes and we're basically sitting on the floor. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna get some yummy ramen before the show. Ooh, let's see. Mm, so yeah. Here, you guys can try some. Ready? <laughs> okay. Open your mouth. <laughs> As you can see, that is literally boiling. <laughs> and what does Mo have here? <clears throat> What's the review? <laughs> is it good? I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to eat that for a second. <laughs> Yum. Peppermint. Peppermints are my favorite. Chocolate. <laughs> okay, you're supposed to bang the drum twice for good luck. Hey. <laughs> you gotta get in there. Okay, okay. I feel really nervous. Give it a better bang than I did. Yeah. <laughs> We are now walking to the theater from dinner. How lucky are we to live in a walkable city? Incredibly. With beautiful lights. This place is unbelievably beautiful. I can't believe we've never been here. What a treat. And surprising. Shocking. Had no idea that was what it was going to be, and it was awesome. <laughs> we are at the end of another day somehow. Day three. That's it. Done and over. <laughs> another really, really good day. The weekend was perhaps one of the best weekends of the year so far. It was just so much fun. And that play was incredible i've not experienced very much very many theatrical performances and i was just really really amazed by this one it literally was just two guys with two chairs and a table two teacups and a teapot and the whole premise i read the little blurb on the pamphlet when we got there 
And it talked about how kids are encouraged to use their imagination and to experience wonder and joy in the world, but it's much more difficult for adults. Like, we are not encouraged to be silly and imaginative. And so the play started with a very imaginative grown man who was pretty weird. And somehow, by the end of it, we were all very much invested in his imaginings and imagining right along with him to the point where we were pretending to be animals and crying over a pretend shipwreck. It was just so much fun and it was so silly and definitely accomplished its goal or what I perceive to be its goal of awakening the inner child in perhaps everyone in the audience. I laughed and smiled so much. A great, great, great night, a great gift. Thank you so much, Karen, and a great end to the weekend. Thank you guys so much for all your compliments on the Vlogmas intro animation. It makes me so happy that you guys are enjoying it so much, not only on the first video where I introduced it, but yesterday's video as well. There were so many comments about how lovely the animation is and that just feels so good because it was a creative project that Landon and I both worked really hard on and to see it come to life and to have it be so well received by you guys just feels incredible and thank you also for your continued excitement over vlogmas three days in 21 more to go I appreciate you for being here thank you for spending this time with me and I will see you again tomorrow. Sweet dreams. I love you. Hi Morgan. This is Jonathan calling from New York. Um, and definitely it's okay to post this. I'm just calling to spread some hope today. Um, currently uh, at home with the family. Um, spending it away from my spouse because I'm a military spouse. So sometimes these uh, moments can be a little lonely, uh, but it's just, just a reminder to anyone that's listening to hold on to hope. That's what the holidays give us. It's hope and finding the little things in life that makes us happy and not to dwell too much on uh, the things that are not going right because it's easy to go into that um, emotional state. Um, and, you know, just hold on to hope and the little things that bring you joy to your everyday life. Um, and then once you keep doing that, you will find even more happy moments. So I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday, a wonderful Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, just, you know, enjoy whatever you celebrate. As long as you hold on to hope and love, everything will be okay. Thank you, Morgan. <laughs>